Onivia, League of Legends highlights. I 100% agree, as Lahens just yeah. going to lock away the Rakan, add that extra engage potential, and I really like this, because basically Rakan throws himself at the opposition and works like a uh, pick gen. This Hakrim pick is going to come through as drops it accordingly, but might see a dive here. Yep, Yoshik moving on back, does have that level 6 available, there's the kick into the wall as Moonlight Vigil goes down, Q's still there, and Yoshik will lock down the kill as Death picked up the turret aggro. And now they are going to be able to back away pretty comfortably, looking for another one here as that's the double. And the juggle's just so nice. King in now looking to try and get these two away from him, but the Onslaught of Shadows goes over the wall. And yeah, he's a bit tanky, but not tanky enough as they'll take the Gragas and the Rift Herald as Derek. The last game was really amped up. His damage potential is sweet. Yeah, that's a charm as Zekka mimics his distortion. Chovy almost killed under the turret, and now Zekka's going to flash, and he's just going to die. The Ignite goes down. And that is going to pick that one up. Actually, no Ignite. That was just the red buff. And Second chain hits, he just dies. <laughs> and then it's like a one for one. Ah, uh, death. Yeah, does Gale Force his way out as the Gravitum is going to be there. That's the kickback onto Doran. Q's connected. And that bait was amazing. But Piyoshi picking up the kill there, I don't love. I feel like Deft clearly is the basket. All the X should be thrown <laughs> into him. Continue what I was trying to say. No, no, I understood you completely. Thank you for that one. As uh, Cast gonna come through and uh, Keegan's gonna find that one. Trovi just gonna get punished. DRX turning it on here in the mid game. And that's with Flesh. He can just flash the Cask and you're perfectly fine. While I still truly believe that as the game Whoa, progresses, Whoa, this uh, is 2.8K as he misses the Q. Ult's gonna get flashed. Def not gonna be able to grab that one as Lahan's quickness has been popped. They're looking for some catfish for dinner. He's gonna eat some gray health, and that is going to be the kill over to Doran, looking for some revenge. As the Q doesn't connect from um, and, and that's basic, basically it. There's, there's not much more. Uh, and you hit it so early as well because of how fed Death has been. So he is going to be so far ahead of the curve, and a possible breakpoint is so much further away for Gen G that I don't know if they're ever gonna hit it. Their team fighting is still really strong, yes, but. Another GRX charge. are snowballing Done here. Flash into immediate shock blast. There's a Zeka. Yeah, the distortion had been used, and Peanut is just going to tidy that kill up. We'll see whether they can grab this one onto Doran as well, as yes, they are. Feral secures it in the end. So a one for one underneath the turret on the top side is Def just farming things out here in the mid lane. Lahan's moving on over as it looks like Gen G are just going to grab themselves a Drake as Def trouble this positioning not great and he doesn't be, want to be the one that is face checking he's gonna do it anyway though as the devour comes in barrels trying to keep him alive that's a big shield and deft is still going to go down the Q not going to be enough with the severum and that is two swift kills now gen g look for this turret in the mid lane and drx once again it's this mid game situation that has thwarted them in the past and it looks to be in trouble once more. That's just a beautiful angle found by Lahens there. Uh, might actually turn out to be one of the most pivotal plays of the game because of him taking down Death, even with Barrel doing as much as he tried to do there. Thorin uh, now, second item done. Mana Munia as well. As oh nut. dear, Zeka once again out of position here and doesn't have that distortion just saw it get used but the chain is going to connect the flash going to be utilized there as well Chovy wanting to pick this one up and Zeka goes back to the distortion not exactly the option he wanted to do as Chovy grabs that one for himself probably pretty happy to stand here in this area as Zeka gets over the wall Doran taking a fair bit of damage there but the chains are not going to slow him down acceleration gate helping him move a little bit quicker here super mega death rocket absorbed by death and now Pyoshek looking for a kick off to the side he's spotted as now Gen G, they're searching for all of these shock blasts, and Doran, I think, just did it. There's the kickback, but Pyoshik finds himself alone. Peanut, that was an interesting ultimate. Not exactly the one you were looking for, but Pyoshik now behind enemy lines. And yeah, not really going to be working out. And safeguard, and there's no out of turret. So actually, he's completely fine. And Doran's going to dive on top of Barrel. That is the last auto, and that's going to connect. As the chain's also going to land, so they trade one for one. It's a good knock up there from Lahans, who's now battle dancing his way out. Ari is just going to find uh, Death, though. Not sure what was happening there towards the top side. Maybe we'll catch that in the replay. As now Chovy, uh, okay, King just decides to stop for a little bit there. Charmed back and is going to flash. And Chovy's still looking for more, darting around this battlefield. Does not have any more spirit rushes left available. It looks like that will be the end of the outer turret. Ruler gets excited though. Body Slam is going to get King in out of the way. And this is two turrets. 
And this is exactly what we talked about, Atlas. It's that. Is it making it? No, never mind. Uh, once those spikes were hit for Doran, like, he would have been dying because he was getting very enthusiastic near the end of that. Did not that he doesn't get engaged on and maybe protect the rest of his team. Uh, and then this is complete. What is happening here? Oh no! Oh, is, oh dear, Rex. Yeah, we're going for it again. Okay, so the Baron Round still two. extraordinarily healthy. All five members of Gen G around the back of the pit. Lots of poke opportunity here for both the Jinx and the Jace. As King is just going to get blown up. Chobi secures that one. Zekker off to the side wants to find Ruler, but he's going to get bullied out. But Death still very big. Moonlight Vigil going to connect, and the explosion from the Infernum is so huge. Onto Peanut, double kill instantly onto the bottom lane from Zekker. And if at first you don't succeed, wait for game two and do it again. There is still Doran and Chovy available. Maybe they can try and poke out. It looks like they don't want to take the risk. Gonna try and find angles elsewhere on the map instead. And this is exactly what we meant. If you go in to a fight. Have that back stopped. The horse is still cantering into this one. Distortion comes out and he goes back to the original. Gets back to the next one as well as the Devour comes in. Really cute plays. He gets the huge shield, oh no. but now Shobi can just tidy this one up. The horse is going to die immediately, though, as Ruler picking up the kills. And there is just too much shenanigans. Ruler says, stop it, you silly boys. And he's going to grab a triple kill for himself with his Jinx. And the teleport out Are from... Control? There is no control in sight. Um... As, okay, Shock Blast comes on in. The Devour is going to be used, but Beryl is very, very dead. Depth as well immediately gets charmed. And this is what we were talking about. There is no control in sight, Chronicle. I can't see any of it as Trovi's looking for Zekka. He is going to survive. Peanut! <laughs> <The> fastest horse <laughs> in the history of horses Woo! will secure it. It's like He's like a guided Super Mega Death Rocket. As uh, King and now running away. And uh, yeah, I don't think these Nexus turrets are going to save you. Gets a party cask out there. And now Peanut just throwing some emotes around. Is Pyoshik just going to try and fight this one as best he can? He's going to press the Q, and I value it as the teleport going to come in. And Pyoshik probably just going to get tidied up. Yeah, the W from Peanut not going to be enough as Doran will be able to secure this one in the end. So Gen G, after, a, you know, an interesting mid game. Managed to tidy the map up in the end and will be able to eventually take down this Nexus. A more valiant effort this time around in the mid game from DRX, but uh, I think we knew that this was going to be the outcome of this series, and Genji will grab the 2 0 here today.